adenosine induced ventricular fibrillation has been reported in two situations one during intracoronary administration for assessment of fractional flow reserve or ffr two intravenous administration to identify the mechanism of wide qrs tachycardia three cases of ventricular fibrillation during intracoronary administration for induction of maximal hyperemia was observed by shah and associates they could prevent future occurrences by doubling the concentration to reduce the volume of injection by half please subscribe to this channel for future updates click on the subscribe button press the bell icon after that for all updates similar instance of adenosine induced vf during ffr assessment has been reported by can and associates in a single case several cases of adenosine induced vf when given for svt or af have been reported gupta and associates reported four cases of vf after administration of 12 mg adenosine in pre excited af which had presented as wide qrs tachycardia this phenomenon occurred in accessory pathways with a short refractory period paham and associates reported adenosine induced vf in a patient with stable ventricular tachycardia adenosine had been administered as a therapeutic challenge in a wide qrs tachycardia of uncertain nature it was later proved to be ventricular tachycardia at electrophysiological study first set of references for the topic are here second set of references on adenosine induced vf are here final set of references are these please don't forget to subscribe to this channel for future updates and click on the bell icon for all updates thank you